Well, after a thrilling weekend of Premier League action, it is domestic matters again this coming weekend and some big games to look forward to. It's myself, Warren Ashurst and Jack Ogilby to talk you through our thoughts on three of the biggest matches over the weekend. It's Chelsea against Liverpool, Leicester against Tottenham and Southampton Bournemouth that we're focusing on. And we'll start off with arguably the biggest game, Jack, and that's the one at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea against the league leaders, Liverpool. Both of these sides in midweek Champions League action might have an impact on how they play at the weekend. But in terms of the prices, Chelsea 11-4 to uh, to uh, follow up that win over Wolves with a victory over Liverpool. The draw is 14-5 to and Liverpool 21-20. to I have to say, I'm very surprised that they're at odds against Liverpool, even though uh, they haven't got the best of records at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, they've been perfect so far in the Premier League, haven't they, Liverpool? And for me, they are the team to beat at the moment in the title race. I think it would be a tough t task for them at uh, Chelsea. But how is Frank Lampard going to manage his squad? His first real test in terms of balancing it with a European game in midweek. I know they had the Super Cup, but it's still early in the season. It was almost treated like a bit of a pre-season mm. fixture. I think it'll be a big test, and I think Liverpool are a fantastic price. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I think 21 to 20 is a great price for the visitors. I think if you want to double up, then maybe look for both teams to score. Chelsea seem to have bags of goals in them, especially Tammy Abraham, of course, at the moment, Liverpool also free scoring. Neither side looks particularly good defensively. Yes, you could argue that Liverpool look more solid than Chelsea, but even that, they haven't kept many clean sheets so far this term. No, they haven't, but they've got that fantastic front three who dug them out of a hole again on Saturday with yeah. a 3-1 win over Newcastle. And I think, whereas they don't look great defensively, going forward there's more of a pattern of play, whereas it's sometimes a bit hit and miss with Chelsea. They've got those five against Wolves, but I think there's more consistency in this Liverpool team. And I think Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino will see them through. Well, Sadio Mane, arguably the man in form at the moment, certainly in terms of goal scoring for Liverpool. He scored three in the last two meetings with Chelsea, including that Super Cup final, of course, that Jack mentioned. Uh, seven to four, any time scorer at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. That looks like a good bet as well. Let's move to Saturday's game. And again, it's another crucial match at the top end of the table. Leicester, the fixtures seem to be coming thick and fast for them in terms of big games. That defeat at Manchester United would have been frustrating for Brendan Rodgers. And they have to look, try and look to uh, put it right against Spurs, another of those sides who they'll be battling with, of course, for the European spots this season. Big question is, can they put it right? Well, it's the question, Mark, that's going to be over Leicester all season, isn't it? Can they break into the top six? It's going to be games against the likes of Spurs at home. I think they're going to define their season. Losing 1-0 away at Manchester United at the weekend. Tottenham had a fantastic first 45 against Crystal Palace, winning 4-0 in the end. Are they turning a corner? Mm. I'm not quite sure. It's going to be a big test for both sides. I think it's going to be an exciting game as well. And I think because of how tight it looks on paper, I would not be surprised to see this as a draw. I think either team would probably take your hand off at the moment for a point and a share of the sports, which will just about keep them up there, of course, in this early stage of the season. Leicester 11-5 to to win the game at the King Power Stadium. The draw 12-5 to and Spurs a 7-5. to Tottenham have got a very good record, though, against Leicester. They've won four of the last five against the Foxes. That will be a concern for Brendan Rodgers. There was also uh, a train of thought that maybe Leicester were a little bit negative, which is unlike saying that for Brendan Rodgers' teams against Manchester United, just because they feared losing the game, thought a point would be a good result. I wonder whether they might go in with the same mindset against Spurs. I think it'll be a different case at home at the KP. Away from home, they have tended to play James Madison out wide, for instance. He seems to play as the number 10 on home turf. I think they'll switch back to a more familiar setup, shall we say. Mm. And I think they'll have a real go at Spurs, who've not been entirely convincing at the back this season. Well, I have to say, I'm going to go for a draw on both teams to score in this game, which is 7-2 to two overall. I could see it being a 1-1 or a 2-2, something like that. I think it's a very, very tight game indeed between two evenly matched teams. We're going to look at Friday evening's Premier League game now, as well as two South Coast rivals go head-to-head -head at St Mary's. Southampton against Bournemouth. They've never won at St Mary's, Bournemouth, but I think this might be their best opportunity of breaking that run. Absolutely, I'm with you on that one. Both sides picked up good results at the weekend, but for me, the Saints are a better side away from mm -hmm. home when they don't have to set the tempo. They can play on the counter-attack. They won away at Sheffield United at the weekend. 3-3 this game. It's not traditionally been a high-scoring affair, no. but I think it will be another uh, good game after that 3-3 last April. I think Bournemouth... 
they're going to win, maybe both teams to score as well. Well, I'd have to go along with you. I think Bournemouth have got a great chance of winning this game. They are as big as 11-2 to two at the moment to collect the three points. Southampton 11-4 to four and the draw is 18-5. to five. Callum Wilson scored twice in that three-all draw last season. He also bagged, of course, in that last weekend's win over Everton. And I think at 13-2 to two is a great price for first goal scorer. I think maybe if you're edging towards the side of caution and you don't want to go as big as a Bournemouth win, there may be a double chance Bournemouth, which covers you, of course. If there's a draw, then you also pick up your money from that as well. And that's 22 to 25, the draw. I think the pressure of playing at home for Southampton might just be too much against local rivals. And I think if Bournemouth can get another win here, we're already looking at talking about Eddie Howe's men getting up towards mid-table again and then potentially you know, securing their spot in the Premier League in the first half of the season like they've done over the last couple of years. Yeah, well, they had a fantastic start, especially last season. It dropped off for them, but they do seem to be fast starters. And I think they'll fancy it under the lights. Going... Along the coast, it's not necessarily a big derby, is it? But there will be a side that Bournemouth have been the shadows of Southampton over almost a century, I suppose. And I think under the lights, Eddie Howe's men will really fancy themselves against, again, a Saints team who are not comfortable at home. Well, that's our thoughts then on the three games. Let us know what you think in our social media channels on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel.